Let's be honest, you don't play Holy Paladin to sit in the back line and heal. You play Paladin to push in like a Power Ranger and slay the opponents with your big damn judgments. Well, sometimes. Anyway, Dragonflight seems to be offering Holy Paladin some new tools to become a premium damage dealer. So stay tuned as we tell you what's around the corner for you big damn enthusiasts. But before we start, while Shadowlands Season 4 is underway, there is no better time than now to take advantage of our rating gain guarantee at skillcap.com. And as a reminder, we're going to be pumping out content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and of course Shadowlands in the upcoming months, so be sure to subscribe to stay ahead of the meta. Alright, so let's start with the general tree to see what is new and exciting. This includes one huge disclaimer, that what you might see today could change tomorrow, so keep in mind that this video is pure speculation. Anyway, one thing you should immediately have noticed on the general tree is that Rebuke is now baseline. Yes, that means Holy Paladins will have a kick once again. This is crucial because it helps cover one of their glaring weaknesses. In the majority of games, Paladins utilize a push and pull playstyle, pushing in to land CC or even deal damage, and then pulling away to avoid enemy setups. This can be difficult when there are casts like Hex, Fear, and Polymorph standing in the way of repositioning. But with an interrupt, these problems can go away, especially since its range can be increased by 3 yards with an additional talent. Paladins will be getting additional defensive coverage with Blessing of Spell Warding, which is a talent that replaces Bop. This spell was previously prot only, but is now available to every spec. Of course, Blessing of Protection is practically useless in the majority of matchups against Wizards, and this new spell might help Paladins both defensively for negating damage, as well as give their partners temporary spell CC immunity for highly offensive pushes. And as far as comp variety is concerned, Paladins will be incredibly flexible, as Fist of Justice can now be chosen alongside Repentance or Blinding Light. Overall, this just means more options and avoids the problem of being hard locked into one form of CC, passively giving Paladins more value in nearly every single comp. There is also some new tech with Blessing of Sacrifice, which now has two talents that empower the ability. Sacrifice of the Just is arguably the more reliable option here, as a flat 60 second cooldown reduction on one of your biggest defensive CDs is simply amazing. We all know how cooldown heavy WoW has been, and Dragonflight doesn't seem to be changing in that department. With that in mind, this talent can be swapped with recompense for a much more aggressive playstyle. As the tooltip suggests, this stores up 50% of your Blessing of Sacrifice damage in order to empower your next judgment by the same amount. In the right circumstances, this could be absolutely massive, especially when combined with other cooldowns like Wings or even Avenging Crusader, but more on that later. And finally, even though it is a bit minor, the two trees allow you to pick up three talents that were previously exclusive to one another. Again, not the biggest deal, but being able to play with Unbreakable Spirit, Cavalier, and Rule of Law at the same time simply means having more mobility, faster cooldowns, and more range. You can't really complain about that. Anyway, with general talents out of the way, let's dive deeper into the Holy Tree. Just like before, remember that there could be some minor changes to the position of talents, but it shouldn't change class design by much. Perhaps the biggest change to the spec is the fact that Sanctified Wrath, Avenging Crusader, and Awakening can all be played at the same time. Previously, Awakening was more or less a hardlock talent, since having wings practically makes your team immortal. Now though, it might be possible to proc wings with Awakening, and have it last even longer thanks to Sanctified Wrath. It is unclear how this interaction will work with Avenging Crusader, if it will work at all, but in case it does, the bonus judgment damage might work well in an aggressive build, especially with other judgment modifiers. Another huge change for Holy is the introduction of Barrier of Faith, which is a pseudo replacement to the old Sacred Shield. With an 18 second duration and 25 second cooldown, this buff should have high uptime and will help pad out healing in between Word of Glory. On paper, this should synergize well with the reintroduction of the Legion artifact ability called Tears Deliverance, which modifies Flash of Light healing. It is unclear whether or not this talent will be good in PvP though, as it requires a ton of hard casting in order to get value, which of course can be difficult to do in Arena. Two Covenant abilities are also available for Holy as baseline talents, with both Divine Toll and Blessing of Summer being available on the Holy Tree. Unfortunately, it will be difficult to budget enough points to pick up both, but Divine Toll will definitely be the more conservative choice, with Blessing of Summer being available as a replacement for more aggressive builds. 
This obviously means the loss of Vanquisher's hammer, which came to define the Holy Paladin meta during Shadowlands Season 3 and 4, especially with its tier set bonuses. The consequence of this is that Light of Dawn will likely cycle out as a primary heal, since the set bonuses and Vanquisher's hammer were really the only reason it was widely used. Taking its place might be Light of the Martyr. Now you might be asking, wait, isn't that a thing already? Well, yes, but now it will have its conduit bonus baked directly into the talent tree itself, potentially giving the spell high priority, especially with mind games staying in the game. So with all of that in mind, what can we come to expect from Holy Paladins in Dragonflight? Well, things are honestly looking pretty good. It seems like Blizzard simply took the existing talent tree and said, yep, have it all. Paladins will have even more defensive cooldowns next expansion, and some key spells that help elevate their existing push and pull playstyle. Chances are the same aggressive comps that Paladins tend to work best with will be even better with a lower cooldown on Blessing of Sacrifice, an extra kick, and a bop that can be used against spell damage. And now with even more damaged talents, your dreams of roleplaying a Divine Crusader could finally come to fruition. Of course, everything depends on final season 1 damage and healing values, but if you were to give Shadowlands Holy Paladins the Dragonflight talent, talent tree, they would be the most broken healer by far. But we want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on Holy Paladins in Dragonflight? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, please consider subscribing. We will be uploading tons of new content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and Shadowlands in the next few months. And be sure to check out skillcap.com where you can learn how to gain over 400 rating risk-free. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.